Madison Pettis, and you designed this. You're, this now, the proceeds from this design and people buying these, look at how cute this is. Where did this Thank come you. from in your imagination, little Missy? Well, I love peace signs, and Aww. I love purple, and it's this uh, brand called Primp, and so uh, cute. I'm the first celebrity designer of the month, and half the proceeds go to a charity of my choice, which I chose the USO. Right. You do special work on behalf of the troops as well with the trees, right? You want to explain that a little bit? I do. Trees for Troops is um, an organization that supplies Christmas trees for military families in need. And they gave over 16,000 trees this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really great. And that's close to your heart because your brother, Stephen, is in the U.S. Army. He is. He just got back from Iraq. He was there for a year. Oh. And, yeah. So, have you been able to see him yet? No, not yet, because oh. I was in Canada when he got back. So, oh. I'll see him this Christmas, and oh, it's something really close to my heart. I'm so he's really lucky. Gone. So happy he's safe and sound, right? Yeah. yeah. Really happy. <laughs> uh, you all right? Yes, I'm good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stephen, thank you thank so you. much thank for you. your thank service you. for our country. Thank, thank you so much. Uh, I bet you're both so proud of each other, huh? Yes, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've been hiding your brother upstairs. How'd you hide him? I thought I, like, scanned the whole floor. <laughs> I was running across the hall. Aww. Aww. So you guys haven't seen each other in no, over a year? About a year? Yeah. yeah. About a year. How long do you get to be home? About 18 months. Hopefully Aww. 18 months, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> Must be so proud of her, too, right, I'm Steven? very proud of her. Very proud of her. She's a fine young lady giving back, and she, she understands... She what families go through to have a family member so far away. Yeah, she works very hard at what she does. Mm -hmm. And how are you doing? I'm great. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. And Madison, for your kind heart and your goodness that you put forth, it'll always serve you well, my dear. I thank promise you. you that. All right? And thanks, Stephen, for coming in. We'll be right back. We'll be right back.
Did you hear him? Is your daddy? Told you I was going to get him. <laughs> Emma, <Lou. laughs> she, she told him to get back. <laughs> Mike is so happy. Calm down, Mikey. <laughs> what? <laughs> You want nobody over here? Uh-uh. You want nobody over she here? She doesn't. Who is that, Stanley? Hey. <laughs> oh. Emma's like, get out of the way. Oh. Who is that? Emma? Oh, she gave you sugars. Good girl. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, okay. The anticipation. Where are they at? Built with each moment. They're, they're still waiting for a wheelchair. David Eves has waited long enough. To have him home and to, to hold him and tell him that we're glad to have him home. To see his son Levi come home. I'm surprised you held together this long. <laughs> The Army Ranger and Tarpon Springs High grad spent three tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. Six months ago, he was injured when an IED exploded. He suffered traumatic injuries, many he's recovered from, but he can still barely walk. For now, he's been forced to give up his passion of riding motorcycles. As Levi's family waited for his return, so did the Defenders, a group of motorcyclist enthusiasts. It's all about giving. It's not about gifts, it's not about presents. Uh, and just a way to give to give to give back. The group of 24 bikers gave their time on Christmas to surprise the staff sergeant with an escort home. It makes this Christmas even more special. Many like Ron Rook can relate. I know what it means to the soldier and I know what it means to his mother that we're out here and doing this today. So we're, it's an honor and privilege to be able to do it. And knew they had to be there for the injured soldier. I've had 67 Christmases prior to this. I'm 68. And so this is, this is I'm just paying back. I'm paying back for all the things that's been done for me over the years. A loud cheer from the entire terminal greeted Levi. Hi, Daddy. How are you? Good Christmas. Along with many hugs. A rumble grew outside the airport as Levi made his way out. Bikers and law enforcement officers gave the wounded veteran a return home like no other. Thanks for uh, looking after us. On a Christmas, he and his family will never forget. I don't need gifts, you know. I got family, I got friends. I don't really need a gift. In Tampa, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News.
Hey Catherine, uh, happy Valentine's Day. I just want to take a couple of minutes and send this video to you. Uh, please have all the kids there. If you need to just push pause, that's fine. Get all Dancing the with the one you love in the kitchen. So I love you very much, Catherine. So we'll be dancing with you tonight. Yay! So dance with them. Oh, whoa, look at Jackie go. Woohoo! That's great. There you go, dance. And finally tonight here, as you likely know, it is a tradition every New Year's, the Rose Parade and those beautiful floats. But today an image no one was expecting, not even a little boy who hadn't seen his father in nearly a year. Miriam Paz and her four-year-old son Eric had flown all the way back from Germany, back home to the States, to California. Mom and son living in Germany while dad is deployed to Afghanistan. They thought they'd won a contest to come home and the prize, a trip to the Rose Parade. What did you have to do to win? Uh, my husband just entered m his name, I guess. I just got a call letting me know that we won. Uh, he is a soldier stationed in Afghanistan? Yes, he's in Afghanistan right now. Or so she thought. Her husband, Sergeant First Class Eric Paz, was right there at the parade, on the float, proudly wearing his uniform and making his way toward them. As mom and her four-year-old son were posing for a picture, they then turn around and that little four-year-old looks up, making his way over right into the arms of his father. It was a really great experience. I think the first thing I thought was, oh my Lord, I hope I hope she's not going to slap me for lying to her. And I, seeing our son's face, and, you know, how he reacted, and, you know, it, I was really caught up in the moment. A family together again, just in time for the new year. They hadn't seen each other in seven months. That's really the reason we're here. Glad if my dad just got back from Afghanistan. Okay? Thank you. Thanks for the decoy. <laughs> here. Thank you. Pretty good surprise. Cool. <laughs> We're going to take her out of here and let y'all yeah. go about y'all's business. <laughs> oh, I was so excited yesterday when uh, Margaret Clifus, which is Bailey's homeroom teacher, called me about it. And she, uh, as if she was asking permission, and I said, absolutely, absolutely. And like I say, just, you know, uh, I'm getting emotional as I, you know, as I think about it. And, you know, just coming home, the, the appreciation as a community, what we have for our, 
our armed forces and stuff, and for us to be able to facilitate this is just such a small token of what we can do. But we're we're sure proud of the entire family, and we're just we thank God He's home. It's our our her third go around with the deployment, so it gets harder on her each time. But each time the community has stepped up and family rentals group has always been helpful.